Hi, Kelly Toby here. Uh, thanks for uh, joining me today. And the uh, theme today is around um, reaping the abundant life that that, that we deserve. And um, so I'll talk a little bit about that. Um, in in recent years, there's been a lot of information that's been going out and around about um, manifesting uh, prosperity, abundance. Um, there's uh, movies out there like the the secret that that share some information about about creating things and now unfortunately with with some of the information that's out there um, it, it, it doesn't it isn't complete and so there's some some missing pieces so there is uh, many people out there that are, are thinking that if they just uh, focus their mind uh, on uh, what they want to create and they hold um, what would be referred to as positive thought in their their mind that, that they should be able to manifest things and create things and um, and this is only one aspect of uh, of uh, what supports us in, in man manifesting, and and so there's um, some some other aspects that need to be taken into consideration if we're not uh, creating what it is that that we're uh, trying to uh, bring forward and, and the things that we've envisioned. Um, is unfortunately what what some people think is that if they're not creating what what they're um, envisioning in their their mind, uh, they they start to think that they must be doing something wrong that uh, they need to need to be doing more positive affirmations that there there must be some failing that's going on in 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 what they're doing rather than looking at the possibly it's that the the approach that they're taking is is missing some factors is, is somewhat limited and so I, I want to talk about the other factors that, that are involved and one of the things is being aware that our conscious mind um, alone uh, doesn't have the ability to uh, create unless our subconscious mind is in alignment with it. Now our conscious mind um, is, is so tiny in comparison to our subconscious mind that there's no possibility that this holding things in our conscious mind uh, that it has the ability to uh, push around our subconscious. Um, if you were to uh, compare, say, a blueberry to a watermelon, uh, the blueberry would represent our conscious mind and the, and the watermelon would, uh, would represent our, our unconscious or subconscious mind. So um, as, as you can see with that imaging, there's no way that a blueberry is going to uh, be able to overpower uh, the size of, of a watermelon. And um, to help you understand that, simple little exercise you can do is uh, with your conscious mind, uh, right in this moment, just think about what you had for lunch today. And you can take a moment to bring that to mind and, and you can probably remember what that was. And now I would ask you to think about what you had for lunch last week. And maybe that came to mind. Maybe you could remember what you had for lunch on this day last week. Uh, now I'd ask you to bring to mind what you had for lunch uh, a year ago today. And of course, for most people, uh, that that information isn't going to be able to pull, be pulled up uh, with the conscious mind, because the conscious mind can only hold a limited amount of material. Now. The subconscious mind has the recording of every single th experience we've ever had. Not only the, the visual memory of it, the mental me memory of it, the imaging of it, but also the emotional and the, and the feeling uh, experience that, that was there with that. It, it's like it, it holds a movie of our entire life, but unlike movies that we see at the theater, it also has our uh, emotional experience experience that, that we had with, with all those um, experiences through our life. So 
it has a huge amount of information uh, that it carries and compared to our conscious mind. So, so that's just to indicate how much more uh, influence our, our subconscious mind has. So for instance, with our conscious mind, let's say that um, we're trying to manifest say a relationship and uh, we're holding that image of a relationship we're thinking positively about it um, doing our affirmations about that doing everything we can with our conscious mind um, but it may be that in our subconscious uh, we're holding some old hurts wounds that happened around relationships some old experiences that that um, we're very uncomfortable about uh, around uh, relationship um, so there there may be places where um, we were hurt we were abandoned um, uh, where relationships didn't work out well for us so so as much as the conscious mind is saying yes I want to create a relationship I'm ready for a relationship the subconscious on the other hand um, is saying uh, no we're not going to get into a relationship because uh, I don't want to see you get hurt again I don't want to see um, uh, the, the abandonment go on the destruction go on whatever it was that, that uh, set up the wound in, in the first place and so so if the if the subconscious mind um, decides that that it's going to be protective of us, uh, then then it's going to block relationship. So until we can penetrate our subconscious mind and bring those um, uh, thoughts and ideas that we hold there to, up into our conscious awareness, and then clear any hurts and blocks so we can bring our subconscious mind in alignment with with our conscious mind then there's no way that we're going to manifest just from from what we want consciously so it's very important to do the inner work heal the old wounds uh, so we can uh, bring ourselves in, into alignment between our conscious mind and our subconscious now, another thing that, that we hold oftentimes in our subconscious mind is, is places where, where we've been off-center and we've hurt others or we've made mistakes and, 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 um, and, and hurt uh, people or the environment around us. Uh, because when that happens, it can set up this place of, of feeling that we don't deserve to have abundance in our life, to have prosperity in our life, because uh, there's a feeling that we need to be punished in some way for the mistakes that we've made. So again, this is an area that needs to be gone into, worked with, uh, clear those places of guilt and shame, um, have compassion and mercy for ourselves around the mistakes that we We've made um, and so we can allow ourselves to be more prosperous and have more abundance in our in our life in 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 the in the present moment now once we have our conscious mind and our subconscious mind aligned um, it can go a long way towards manifesting things for us uh, but there's another aspect that's very important as well and and that's that if we're just manifesting from our conscious mind and our subconscious mind it may be that the things that we're attempting to manifest are uh, are are coming from an ego agenda so they have nothing to do with a sense of purposefulness or or a deep connection with with spirit and, and and higher mind and divine consciousness, it may be that we're just trying to um, to manifest to get, to get our needs met. So uh, again, we need a third component component in the, in that aspect of, of alignment. So we want to align our conscious mind with our subconscious mind, but we also need to um, align ourselves with with higher mind or or divine purpose. So so the inspiration for what it is that we want to create, we're checking in to see if it's going to serve the highest good of ourselves and for 
all those that are influenced by by um, what it is that that we're in the process of, of co-creating. So, uh, to, to if um, if there's a place where where it's not in alignment with with a loving purpose, we may be able to create and manifest around us, but there won't be any level of deep satisfaction. Um, examples of that are is when they talk about the idea of uh, midlife crisis, for instance, where maybe a person has managed to create um, relationship, uh, home, uh, children, toys, uh, whatever it is, but there may be a, a sense of uh, that they're they're lacking a sense of satisfaction that it's somehow not enough. And it may be that um, that along the way they haven't been checking in to see if what they've been creating is in alignment with their sense of a, a purpose and in alignment with, uh, with with higher mind, with life force energy. And so those things that have been created need to be reviewed, looked at again, and, and see if there needs to be a shift in focus in order to um, align the three aspects um, being again conscious mind, subconscious mind and our connection to divine inspiration. So um, we will be going into this subject in more detail on one of our Expanding Heartfelt Living Wednesday evenings. Um, this, this theme will be presented on uh, April 27th for anyone that happens to be in, in Calgary at that time and wants to come and join us. And we'll be looking at ways to, uh, to clear some of the stuff in the subconscious mind and bring it into alignment and, and help ourselves into being able to receive more of the abundance that, that we deserve.